Good evening everybody and welcome to the fifth race of the Bavarian Racing Challenge 1976 edition. I'm Novan Vauxhall and all the other presenters please present yourselves. Hello, this is Purdix here. Hi, here's the buyer. Hello folks, it's Kay Leonardo. And uh, hello, I'm Leo. So for this fifth race we are still in Germany at the racetrack of Mainz Finten. And Roland, what can you say about the Wikipedia page this time? Uh, I have a problem. There is no Wikipedia page about this truck. We are screwed then. We know nothing. No. No, no, we know we know st we know stuff about it. It's um, a track on an airfield. It's Germany's best, obviously. Uh, it has um, two point one kilometers with uh, approximately one kilometer long straight around one, two, three, I, I think seven corners. And mm. something very interesting. Uh, let's take a look at the track overview. This is it. Um, as you can see, there is a park ferme on the back mm -hmm. straight, and this is the pit stops. So the okay. pit stops are not on the main straight next to the start stop line. Ah. So the drawings of the presentation is wrong. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, it's the start, yeah. Not. Uh, start finish line is wrong on the. Uh, the finish line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have to uh, we have to note this to the people who do who done this. Who done this? <laughs> we don't know. Me, of course. <laughs> it, it was our tame racing driver. <laughs> some say it's come from Italy. Some say, <laughs> some say we should take a look at the qualification results of, of this course. race. And uh, here they are. And I can already see the top four is like hmm. tight. Oh, All in the, the 106 range. In the first position we have Absurdist with 1 minute 6 and 28, followed by the Bob Wiley in 1 6 second and 41, third place for Leo, here with us, 1 0, 6, 74, fourth place for Holler Automotive, 1 0, 6, 91, and fifth place for Critical Sect, Night 849, 1 minute 7 seconds and 18 cents of second. Then on sixth place we have Matt Emma 2 with a 1735. On seventh place Marat with a 17454. And very close behind we have Cool K with a 1760. That's it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, the night we have and on 10 Mr. Chips. Um, the two championship leaders are on 4 and 7. So maybe they will lose some points to their direct competitors. It could also, be a very interesting race, yes. Also, if you look down the order a little ways, we have several ties. 18th and 19th, aka Ammo and Frankenstein, both tied at 108.27. And another one right below that, Austro Gallant and Viren, with 108.31 right behind. True mm -hmm. indeed. So it will be a quite oh, also Troller Cross and Marcus at seventeen. Like they are very close together, like uh, super close. Yeah, but, but we know the Troller Cross doesn't perform very well on the race because the, the, uh, all yeah, he, that pit stop is going to. Have yes, he has to refuel anyway. So. Yeah, I mean, any lap he sh should stop and refuel. Also, um, not forget CW Roots and Matty. Mm -hmm. It's a tie as well. Anyway, um, the people we have to take our eyes on are Haller Automotive, Merat and Air Jordan. Especially Merat and Haller Automotive. Let's take a look at the top trump cards then. Maybe we can f get an issue, um, get an issue, get an um, idea what could happen in this race. All the provisions we usually done go completely box, so I don't know. Obviously. Really... <laughs> <laughs> well... Well, we, we have know like a lot the, of this car anyway. Like we all know all of these. Basically, there's nothing to say about them. Like what could be good in this track is the 80 to 120 kilometers at acceleration, in which um, Marat is not very good with 1.8 seconds. Well, well, not that bad. Come on, take a look at the Bob Wiley. Same. Take a look at Absurdis. Slower. Take a look to Leo. Slower. Take a look to Holder Automotive. It's a little bit quicker. It's not that bad. Not to 0 to 100. 80 to 120. Oh. Like when you come out of the corner. That's the important thing, I think, here. Mm, true. True. But you have lower fuel consumption. So... 
Yeah, but apparently they all stopped free time because their tire wear on practice was too bad. There's a rumor around the paddock that all the main competitors, Absurdist, Bob Wiley, Leo, Howler, everyone will do pretty much the same strategy. So it might be closer than we think. Hmm, okay. It could yield to a very interesting race in this regard, I think. Mm -hmm. But enough rambling. I think it's time to start the race, isn't it? Yeah, you're the traffic light master, so... I have to I find my keys, they are, they are oh. lost. The Vivaro? Uh, no, the Vivaro is a scrap. <laughs> <laughs> it is! And, uh, yeah. Time to uh, start this race, I think. Oh. Solid red. We have reds. Yeah. And green lights, we are off. It's gonna be a drag race down to the first corner. Pretty much. And we will see how much place through the coast is going to gain. He lost three. He lost one. One, ah, so he's gaining back something. Cool, okay, lost six in the first Ooh. straight. Matt Amatu so, is on second place already. Wow, he gained four place. That's good, very good for him. Our Top contender Halo Automotive is in fourth place and Merad still in seventh. They didn't lose any. They didn't move at all. Position at the moment, yes. And we have a tiny crash already. Microwave against tiny. fail. Oh. Not oh. that tiny. That's Not already that tiny. quite big. And back on the main straight. The main straight will see if a troller coaster could gain. Uh, yeah, to top, top, top ten. Five. <laughs> okay, just gained five in one straight. It's oh, not a fuel cost. Whoa! Ooh, Marat, it's quite low on fuel. Yes, Probably he's running. Make he, two, he, as usual, he's going to make two, two stops. And Three Leo, stops what are you doing? Little... Oh shit. Tried to cut the corner just a little too much. Mm -hmm. No corner cutting, please. Guess at the end of the third lap, the top. Five, uh, again we have Absolute in first place, Metamatu in second, Debo in third place, four place for Holland Automotive and fifth place for Merad. Holocaust getting another place in the last straight. He's always getting in the last in the in the main straight, but he's losing in the corners. Mm -hmm. Well he probably he spends his entire corner exit trying to get the wheels to hook up. Probably all the grip is uh no, there is no grip for the tires, basically. Yes. He recovered two, three places at the moment. With a damaged car, that's that's bad now. Slightly damaged, affect the performance, of course, but not that he really could be still competitive. You can see Torakos is approaching Puffsta very quickly on the main straight, but is not quick enough. Mm -mm. I have to pay attention on his uh, yellow dot on the map when he's going on the main straight and suddenly getting the power on the track. He's getting really fast, but not fast enough. The top 5 still is there, no big change. It's close to Absolutes, but Absolutes is not under pressure. It's widening a little bit the gap. And we're having a deja vu. Big slides already. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not by the usual slider. Matt MR2 is closing in on an absurdist just a little bit. Could say they are stable, probably. They're losing yeah. about a tenth a sector by the look of it. At the start finish line, the gap went down from 0.9 to 0.8. Now at the end of the first sector, we're down to 0.7. We'll have to see what it says as they come around the corner here. Back up to 0.9. Thing is, in the top eight is not very close to each other because there is no pressure against each other. Look at all from Leo to Perlix. There is a lot of pressure going on. But the top eight are just relaxing. Yeah, the top, the top eight. Like if you if you look at the map, the whole top eight is like stretched, like out, completely stretched out. They're not sitting on each other. It's like you can see that each of those is faster. Only Leo is hunting Troller Coaster 
and of course Air Jordan is hunting Leo and so on and so forth. Now Air Jordan has just made it into the top 10, he started outside. That's true indeed. And he's one of the top, I think he was in the top 5 of the charts, so... Yes, I think so. He usually flies quite, quite well. I think he was in the top 3 in points. Uh, I think uh, Jordan is first on the championship right now because this car is just more balanced than the others. It's it's an A, so it uses less fuel. It has less tire wear, so it's not massively fast, but it compensates by its uh, and less time in the pits. However. Absolutist is gaining, is increasing the gap between his in and Indeed. Meta Martin. But the others are quite the same. I mean, Meta Martin is slower, but the Pomponi and Polar Automotive seems to keep the pace of the Absolutist. The thing is, uh, Meta Martin cannot get into the slipstream of Absurdist, so um, he will fall back even more and more. I guess soon we will going to see the Bobuani try to overtake the Metamon 2. The lap will. times are pretty close. They in indeed they are, it's like... Yeah. Also again a big slide, so someone has probably dropped oil on the truck. Uh, I think there wasn't any big damage. Maybe it's Adam's Corolla losing some cooling liquid somewhere. That was a bad joke, sorry. <laughs> yeah, m maybe, but coolant doesn't make it slippery. True. But if it mixed with oil. Then anyway. yes, then yes. Anyway. Uh -uh. I can't see anything now. Uh, well, then you may even have to open your eyes. That can help. Yeah, probably. But right now we see the field has stretched out a lot. Like, the top 10 contenders are like really wide. Apparently we have a new second place car, Bob Wiley yep. having overtaken Metamar 2 yes, and Hollow Earth Mode is very close to Metamar 2 as well in fourth and Merit is very close to them, it's a very tight pack between second and fifth place. Probably Hollow Automotive is going to overtake Metamar 2 very soon. I have to say the new scrolling uh, Martin made is really good with the top yeah. 10 being persistent. It helps, yes, helps a lot. Keep your eyes on the front of the pack, but still showing everybody what goes on. A lot of pressure back in the pack. And it, whoa, oh, we have a we massive have crash. Ooh, oh, that's massive. We will There's have a, a safety oh, yeah. car. The safety car is perfect. The car that's most likely to benefit from the safety car brings out the safety car. Well, and everyone that's is very going much true. <laughs> and a lot of people are pitting now. Yeah, the reaction to the safety car, those people will get many po uh, many positions later. But apparently none of the leaders are. True. Squidhead is Fanta is Base McKenzie is Nerd Genji. A lot of people are pitting. With that pit road on the back stretch there, that really uh, throws a wrench into things about who pits when. Yeah, strategy here has to be really thought out because this is the pits is this track is really weird. 
So which safety car do we have in this um, race it's again? It's a Urlava Victoria B12. Yes, this is sponsored by Urlava anyway. <laughs> How many liters does it have? Uh, I think it was like around 7 liter B12. Oh, nice. At least the road version that was one of the finalists in the GT champion in the GT forum competition. Uh, it had a 7.2 liter, I think, B12. Not very much powerful, but extremely smooth with a very fine releasing of power that helps the driver to keep balance every day. It's a great Gran Turismo car. It is available on all your Laro dealers around the world. You can find it easily with an MRP price of under. Yeah, yeah, enough of the advertisement. <laughs> How much horsepower does a safety car tune have, or is it just uh, the I same don't as the? I remember because it was the, the Hockenheim version. It's something that the Euler Racing Division takes care of, and I didn't really see that. I don't remember the numbers. I think around, probably around 600, five, five or 600. I think. That's not too bad. Probably, probably less. Let's look at the picture. There is the safe. That's the Euler oh. actually. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> so here's the question on a track like this, when the safety car goes into the pits, will the field speed up or, or will they wait to get to the line? Looking at it, the, the field always speeds up when they left, uh, when the safety car went into the pits. Oh, that's yeah. weird. And, but, gu guys, oh, another, re oh, really, contact. really. Small contact. Yeah, but, but... The puck is tight now, so yeah, it happens. Did, did the 80 car pit? Yes! He did pit! Now! What's the 80 car? That's the... That's the pickup! The rear engine ah, pickup! Ah, it was planned! Come on, it was planned! <laughs> oh, oh, Michael! He has plenty back there, with some very good strategies, that microwave, micro design. <laughs> the best uh, strategy... in the world. Apparently the team... Uh, the team boss is... H quit. He's pretty much shouting of... Is it that guy out. who's stomping on the ground all the time and screaming fuck fuck fuck? Yes, right now he's just shouting on the pits and... We've got another car in the pits too! He's taking out a gun. Uh, oh, he shot his chief. Oh, the, the, the pit chief. Anyway. He must be the angriest man alive. Mm -hmm. Also, the Bob Wiley is now your leader. No, Indeed, the, the safety car helped him out to get on the lead. Gave him the slipstream back. Now the question is: Is once the tires get warmed back up, we get back underway? Will Absurdus come back? And we have rain. Yes, it it's started to slowly fall. starting to rain. Well, I've also to notice that Meta Mart um, sorry, Merat now is in fourth place, creeping up slowly, 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 slowly. creeping up. Mm. But look at his fuel tank. Just yeah. uh, fourteen point seven kilograms left. A little bit strange. I was expecting him to. Oh. I'm honestly surprised he didn't come in with that safety car. I imagined he could have made it to a second stop and then to the end of the race from that point. Yeah, but he's running a more stop strategy because of his tires. Because they are so worn out. Not any more than Mad MR2 or Absurdist, though. Of course, those are both turbo cars. And big spin. uh, spinning. He tried to probably to drift, but couldn't keep the car on the track. No P board. Well, having a rear engine car is always tricky, unless you have a snow press. <laughs> of course, this is sponsored by snow press. Yeah. yeah, but everyone knows the snow press are not fast, so they can't spin. Oh, come on, let's t t tell that to the Snowpress who raced the 1968, come on, 1966, sorry. That was fast. The yeah. only one. Okay. Tell, tell the, the driver of the van the that it's not a good idea to take a car with a high center of gravity over curbs. <laughs> it almost <laughs> tipped. <laughs> Big two-wheel moment there for the van. Maybe he's wearing helmets, so Marat, safety one place. first. Yeah, and his tires. His tires. Mm -hmm. And told the pit after the 
mistake to repair the car. Repair the car. Now the a Bob Wiley of... and Absurdist are still neck and neck. They are. That hasn't changed. And looking at the last lap they both run, it's pretty much equal between those two. Mm. It's not For just sure. pretty much equal, it was equal. <laughs> it is. We have another big slide by Cobalt the Girl, but luckily she didn't make very big damage on the car. This just time a... she's running with overhead cam, right? Yes, it's her first car with overhead cam. Also, there is a big pack of pressure people in the mid. And the oh. pressure is causing people to crash. Mm. Kale, Kale Linard and Nostragal. And contact and there oh, Leo, Leo between and Marat. Marat. You want to make an Austrian guy pissed off. You know what happens don't, when don't, an Austrian guy pissed don't off, right? Don't do it. Yeah, but let them get, let them go into things too. Don't they know them? Yeah, so let, let them go to art. Let them yeah, do art. Don't. If they want to do art, let them do art. That's, yeah. That's the lesson of history. Right here. Also, looking uh, looking at the statistics, Absurdus has to pit very soon, which means the Boboni can run away, but only for a yep. short period of time because he has to refuel as well. He will be able to use that moment to and widen the gap as much as possible. Leo, to find the pit. Talking about pitting, Leo is pitting. And the boy is under pressure by Absolutist, right? Under heavy pressure. Look look yep. at them, they are neck on neck. Like Now now Bob is gaining, but now back in the corners, really, really close together. Do we think Absurdus comes in this lap or next lap? I think... Oh, forget it. Yeah, I this lap. I wanted to say <laughs> next lap, but he just came in. <laughs> also, Merit Merit's is coming in. Merit is also in the pits. Let's see where they both come back. Who will be out faster? Well, Merat be. But so much left. Merat is st starting. He's out of the pits. Well, not completely. Twenty. And he's out of the pits now. Eight. And he just came out of the pits and crashed the car. Oh, <laughs> genius. Did not merge properly. Actually, it was you and Gaming not paying attention on him and just like poop. Really, really. This guy wants to make an Austrian guy pissed off. Be aware. Frankenstein making a pit stop for damage, but I didn't I'm see where he picked any up. He's been before. Okay. So Absolutely, anyways. 32nd place. Two plays be ahead of Leo. And they're gaining slowly every lap two or three positions. They we'll are see fast. if the trilogy of Merat and of Absurdus will pay out. I think we're also gonna see the Bob Wiley. The Bob Wiley. Yep, there he is. He Off is pitting in. Polar Automotive now have chance to try to uh, widen the gap, but with these tires, yeah, it could be not for long. Not for long. He has puffs the mm. right behind. Well, right behind. he has behind. Seven seconds. Seconds. Behind. Three seconds. Another car over the curbs. Deal. Picked up a Rizzo little bit of damage. under pressure. Rizzo under heavy pressure from the buyer. Here comes the Rizzo. Bob Wiley. Or uh, back out onto the track, I should say. Also, Norman Vauxhall. Whoa. Fourteen. Uh, I have to pay it, my car sucks, uh, don't worry. Don't have to jinx it. Yeah, doesn't need to be. But well, that... Steele got lucky there. He went over the curbs, picked up a little bit of damage, and then came right in for a pit stop the next lap. That's calculated, you know. The driver no could risk that moment. Tried to get everything out of that first set of tires, and they just gave up on him the lap before he was supposed to come in. Anyway, there's a big fight between Tycoon Vero and the driver behind him that I cannot see the name, but they are just overtaking each other. It's a fight between Rizzo, the yeah, Tycoon Dero, the buyer, and Cool K, I think. 
Ooh, they're right. Squid head. Oh. Squid head. Also, Norman Vauxhall, see? What? What? It's Norman Vauxhall, Rezo, and Ticondero. Oh. Oh. Rezo's driver is a bit stressed out. A slight a bit. People He's are probably switching. going to invade Poland soon, so please. <laughs> <laughs> Richard117 switched to intermediates. The track is getting damp. Mm -hmm. And Norman Pretty Voxel wet. was just on 10th place for a brief oh, moment. Back again. It's a big fight between me and Taekwondo. Astana versus Norbert. And Racer 11M. RC Racer 11M, yep. There's a big fight there. Causing a lot of pressure on everyone. Critical set and stands now in the pits. Leaving a lot of room in the top 10 now. Yeah, so now we can see now the fight between. Wow. Ooh, right. Wow, look at that. Overtaking, overtaking, overtaking again. It's overtaking again. Right. Take another overtaking. Race again. Take another on top again. But how? Oh, what? Stop, please. Now we have. Like, look at the map on the, on the main street. They're going like it's one dot. It's a four-way battle for seventh place on the front stretch. Yeah, totally. So now we have oh, Tyke on the right place, overtaking Reason. Now we have Norma Bugs overtaking Reason, now it's ninth place. And we will see uh, all their automotive. Norma Vox is uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make sense out of their lap times, but I just can't. They're all so close to each other, but they're all catching Oh, BW Marat rules. is back on tenth place. And now he's going to overtake me. Oh, like, oh. Marat in. is running much faster than that group of cars. <laughs> he's running by hello! I'm going. He, he's running two seconds a lap faster, Karen. What's going on? Why my car's in sixth place? Please. You're please. on sixth? What's what up? have you done? Slipstream, man. Nice. Uh, Track day, bro. Lucky, luck. It's luck. Not Track day, bro. It's called the luck. Now, uh, Rizzo. Rizzo has fallen to Marat. Marat is going to make his way through that cluster of cars. He could be in the top five by next lap. Rizzo has to fight with his worn-out tires already. Norman Voxel, your car can't stay for a long time. Though. It has still a lot of fuel. Yep. So there Marat goes. Marat fifth like place. Said, he's up. Yeah, just moving on through. He's plowing here. Look, look, it's, it's a complete overtake, re-overtaking, it's a mess over there. But Rizzo dropped, he oh, is uh, not... I'm overtaking Marat, what's going on? <laughs> what is going on here? I'm on James Trolling. So I have some this now. It's nice place overtaking Titan there and Stuff. Puff stairs in the pits. Oh, here comes Say the Bob Wiley. Lovin's place. Now we have Puff stairs in the pits. So we have now R. Jordan first place. Doesn't will hold for long because he had to refuel probably in a couple of 10 laps. Air and he Jordan. also is in second place. Good for him. Air, Air Jordan, Jordan, I think, is going for a one-stop strategy. It I'm seems so. Weather. <laughs> Switching from Keep intermediates. Is, yeah, that's the way to go. Rizzo in 11th place still. That's a fantastic oh, crash. Jordan. What a fantastic a crash. crash. Wow. Ooh, the first oh, oh, the leading dear. two have a crash to each other. A big one. Car are heavily damaged, so I think they will go back. Yes, they're both pitting now, both on the pit. leading to V, Veyron, Merat, Absolutist and Bob Wallace some wide gap to recover. They were probably going to overtake very soon. Yep. I can see there was like a big like sack full of money flying into the pits of Martin and Jordan. It has Austrian, oh. mo it has Austrian money signs on it. Probably someone paid them to crash on purpose. Time you mean like Vera? Or like Fennings. Right. Or maybe Merat paid, that's, he said Austrian maybe? Paid Mary to <laughs> just give it a little push. Just give him a little push. You get one million shilling for this. You never know. That should be like a straight... Anyway, Merat should be able to overtake quickly. We are on probably in one or two laps. Quickly, I think... Because look how close no, no, absurdist, absurdist. 
Absolutely. Oh, it's absolutely. So it's, uh, it's updating so slowly. Oops. Yeah, thank you, Roland. <laughs> I am happy to see some information about PD2, but I don't think it's the time. Anyway, Absolutus is in first place over taking Merat. And Merat is very close to Black everything. Okay, Merat is very close, and we have Antipolis, Bob Y one second behind, and we have Veyron, then we have Leo, Normal Voxel, Metamart 2, Tycoon, Lama was in sixth place. Come on. And we have Tycoon there, Holler Automotive, their buyer, and something else. But Merit is losing to Absolutus, Absolutus is running much faster laps. Faster than him, yes. But the biggest competitor against Merat is Holler Automotive, that is in ninth place. Still, Merat have to bit once, probably Holler Automotive have to bit once more too, but... So it was violent, what is going on? What? No, I see some violet shadows casting on, but it's not a problem. I can read. So we will see. Uh, yes, Absolutist now is widening the gap slowly, and Bob Wiley is very, very close to Merat. But we will see if we are going to see any overtaking because the, ooh, it could be, there could be an overtaking soon. Leo is in fourth place. I guess still there. The Bob Wiley is along. also the Bob Wiley is also catching up quickly. Yeah, uh, he's he's only faster in parts of the track though. If you look though, uh, but he's fast. Oh no. Oh he's... yeah. And they switching places. And the crash Back again the between Puffster and CW rules. Oh dear. Another wreck out of the top uh, front runners. No safety car yet though. Oh, no, they've all been small. <laughs> Relatively. Howler Automotive now gaining into 6th position, trying to recover on Merat. It is now just 2 position away from him. 2-3 position. He's running faster than Viran, so we're probably going to see in a two, 1 or 2 laps over Howler Automotive in 5th place. That is going to be a hard fight to reach Leo or Merat, because even if they are running a little bit faster, it's not enough to be sure that they are going to recover. But Hull Automotive has the like, plus on his side, he doesn't have to refuel anymore. Look at him, he, he runs 40.9 kilos now. I don't know, but is that so enough for 50 laps? No, I don't think I don't it's think enough. So. He's I going think to refuel it have once. But meanwhile, all the cars ahead of him, all of them, are going to stop it twice. So maybe he has has a good chance of. Maybe he has. Could be a big chance for him, though. Also, the buyer is pitting as well on lap 38. I see a couple of stops for tire wear, and a couple of cars down the order here that are starting to really wear through their uh, sets of slicks. Well, we know AKMO is having Super One tires again. Yeah, he doesn't. He do, they don't have the money to change tires, so they just run with one tire set every race. And they tire don't wear. like to change it. They don't believe in tire wear. So. <laughs> it's, it's it's just a, it's just a mindset. If you think through it, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Just power, power, power. No tire change. No, no, we don't need this. We'll take fuel. Nah, nah. <laughs> but we won't get tires. We have fuel for you. That's true. But not tires. No, we don't have that. And who's going to pay for the tires? Me? No, I will not pay for tires. Okay. okay. The Mexicans will pay for them. <laughs> 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 silly world, you hear that? <laughs> silly world in this race. <laughs> <laughs> we need a commercial. Yeah, <laughs> commercial break. <laughs> your Lara Victoria, the best car for the best man. Find it on all the others of your Lara. That's it. 
Just sponsored by your wife. Anyway, everyone, yeah, everyone is probably hating me now for this joke. Yeah, that, that was a perfect joke, really. That was a perfect joke. Better than the, no, not really better, but the same to the level of the tikka lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, opposite this, still in first place, very, very close. Bob Wiley on second place, trying to catch in hop. And looking at the last slot, we probably think that Bob Wiley could try an overtake soon. Melat, in the meanwhile, seems to lose in slowly every lap, but at least it stayed around, around 2.3.2 seconds behind the Absolutist. In first place, we have Leo. Same time of Melat. Now it's better. Good. Horror Automotive is in fifth place, trying to catch up and recover Melat to don't lose the first place in the final chart. Sixth place, we have Viaran, uh, running slower and gaining gap every lap. 7th place we have Norman Vaxel with the same time of error, more or less, 8th place for Taekwondo, running slower than the 6th and 7th place. Then we have R. Jordan that is trying to regain quickly his position to the top 5. And then we have Frank Frankenst Frankenstein, 1672 last lap and should be able to recover some position soon. Ooh, fight! Also, uh, the, the, the gap between Absurdus and the Bob Wiley is like super, yeah, super tight. Yeah, each other again one or two times. They are now really, really tight head to head at the moment. And we have no clue who's going to... The gap is like non-existent. It's like you can put your hand in between it. Your hand would be crushed. Merat is slowly losing. Yes, it's, he is. The gap is widening between him and uh, the leading couple. Also, Leo is in the pits now. Also, I think Merat has to go in the pits in the next three or four laps too. Along with Domo Basso probably, and Taekwondo. Yes, yes. Varan is going to follow probably in a couple of more laps. Also, the... Well, we are at 50% of the race, so a lot, of, a lot of people probably planned some it's stop at the moment. Also, Norman Vauxhall car will also pit in soon with 7.6 kilograms left. Yeah, but I'm running on diesel, so it lasts longer. So, all the diesel. Of course, running with Diesel in this case means he's just running with a photo of Rudolf in the car. <laughs> yeah, of course. With Mr. Rudolf Diesel photo, it's like true slowly things to me. I think I pit. Yep, I'm yes, pit you are pitting. I'm getting out of the pit. Now probably I'm in 50 position. <laughs> you will lose a lot of positions, yes, but I don't think too much. I think a lot. Espe especially considering you're all already back in the race at, I think, 22nd place, right behind my car. 22nd... Yeah, but I cannot drive as fast as the... I'm looking at people front of me where there are not like 107 also the Bob, the Bob Wiley is pitting and Ooh. I probably did Ooh, I I, automotive I, now, I also missed a Mara pitting he yeah. is already out of the pits with 40 kilos back in third, 10 seconds ahead of absurdist but Work we know Marat has to pit a, a last time like in 20 Laps ish. Do we know what his fuel consumption is per lap? A lot. Merats? No, not Merats, but um, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure they, they had a horrible, horrible time when so up again. The problem, the thing on uh, Merrod's car is not the consumption, but the tire wear. He will Too lose much time. Camber. Let's go to boy, uh, an interesting fight between Merat and the Bob Wiley. I think Bob Wiley, uh, I don't remember how much fuel consumption he had, but probably could, could hold 14 laps. 40 laps. He could, yes. We have some trouble with the viewing. Yeah, we have quite some technical, technical issues today. Issues. Mm -hmm. And it's raining back. It is indeed. I can see. Yeah, it uh, it did weird things again. I see the world, but not the restaurant. Is it the best racetrack in the world? Yeah, the video feed tonight is quite unstable for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You're sorry for this trouble. Anyway, yeah, but the Bob Wiley that seems to run in more than half a second faster, though. We were around half a second How faster. How automotive is pitting? Ooh. With a lot of fuel left. 11.5 kilograms. Yeah, probably it's planned. That's definitely That's planned. His tires aren't that bad though, 10 on the front, 15 on the rear, before the stop. And Merat just passed. The Bawali is very... Oh, not very, but I have to check. When they reset the timing loops here, you'll see the mm -hmm. gap's only 1.74 seconds. And with Pope Wilde, it seems to gain half a second on Merat. It's, we are going to see something interesting. Soon. And the Bob Wiley's got a full tank of fuel, so th th he could really put some room on Merat if he gets past him quickly. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ran a 105 uh, almost one second faster. His next closest competition is Absurdist, who is six seconds behind, and Absurdist is not running nearly as fast, and then there's nobody on the leaderboard that can touch him. Can't touch him. Come on, can't touch him. Mm -hmm. I don't want the copyright claim. Please. Sorry. Also, the Bob Wiley is uh, much faster mm. than Marat. An error for Bills McKenzie it touched the barrier and damaged a bit of the car. And I think he did a little more than touch it. Yeah. It's like more like scraped the, the side. Broadsided it coming out of the corner. I think the dump track is not helping a lot of people. Also, it's not like super wet like in the yeah, last race. It's fine race. for me. Keep it like that. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. For you, it's good. good. Yeah, I mean, the we are very, very, very close to Marat. He's going probably Ooh, to overtake any moment soon. soon. I think we're going to see an overtake here. In I the, think in the like hairpin. now. Overtake him. Oh boy, I'm in first place, second place to Merat, third place to Absurdist. It's steep gaining um, at least half of a second on Merat. So it's probably going to hit the second place in a, probably 10 lap. Then we have Air Jordan that is running slowly, so we're not very concerned. But, but you're probably going to overtake Air Jordan very soon. Hello, Automotive, the big contender against Merat. It's okay, now overtaken. Now they're like, in a battle. Yeah. Anyway, Alor uh, Automotive is trying to do everything he can to catch up with Merad and don't lose the first place on the chart. The final standings, then we have Matti, running slowly and probably is going to be overtaken by the Metamer 2 very soon. Then we have Frankenstein and Racer 11M, but both of them, no, at least Frankenstein is going to pit soon. Also worth yeah, to mention, uh, Jordan and Matti are back in the top 10 after their crash. 
Leo and Haller Automotive both went by Air Jordan just now, and Haller Automotive and Leo are still fighting with each other, although if Haller Automotive can get past, he should pull away. He's running about a half second a lap quicker. Marat seems to keep the pace along with Bob Wiley. Didn't he, he does have the slipstream now with Luke, the Bob Wiley. Yeah, he gained a lot of... Or the Bob Wiley lost some of his speed to not having Marat giving him the slipstream. My question is, is can his tires last running that fast? Never do they, do going they, to see it. Yeah, do, they, do the extra clicks add on any extra wear and will he start to fall off as the laps tick by? We will see, but um, from what I see, Marat is slowly losing. Slowly, not, not quickly. Mm -hmm. Like he's now half a second behind the Bob Wiley. Well, eventually he's going to lose the slipstream. Faster. It depends probably on which part of the track we're looking. Basically, basically. Yeah. Uh, now it's uh, yeah. It have to. And we have a safety car out. What's going on? Rob the field. Huge Ooh. spin. A couple of. Wow. He just went boom into the barrier. And he, wow. Didn't break. Break too late and hit the, the spin, damage the car. A uh, second I safety I car. A, I think he got a little uh, wheel hop when he got on the brakes there going into the first corner, just carried too much speed down the straight and the muscle car couldn't make the first turn. This wheels change. The outcome of the race. True. Actually. True. Because I wonder Automotive how many... is going to get very close to Merat now. I wonder no, if we're going to see a lot of pit stops. Not only that, Merat, don't forget, look at the last lap of Howl Automotive and Merat. Merat is running half a second fast, uh, slower than Howl Automotive. So he has a good chance of passing in the next couple of laps. After the safety car, of course. But, oh, look how lovely is that safety car. Can someone remind me which brand is that car? I don't know, is it <laughs> Yurlaro? Oh yeah, true, it's the Yurlaro Victoria. This is not sponsored by Yurlaro <laughs> anyway. Not sponsored by Snow Brask in any way. Not 1976 Baba Racing Challenge, sponsored by Yurlaro. Your trusty dealer, like... Expensive car for expensive For expensive cars. It's so fun <laughs> the car. Order the catalog <laughs> now at... One 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 one, and get your first offers on the first Yurlaro just next week. And remember to participate to the winning lottery when the first place is a Yurlaro Victoria. So join, send me the money, and then we will see. <laughs> a winner Yurlaro Victoria. Tr trust me, I my uh, your uncle died and I, I got notice of it and um, he has a million dollars in gold. Yeah, from Nigeria. It was a yes, uh, yeah. but, but... Anyway, my, uh, my financial manager, Mr. Ponzi, will take care of it, okay? Yeah. So give the money to this Ponzi scheme and we'll find out. <laughs> anyway, and while you gentlemen were having your makeshift commercial, I wanted to take some time <laughs> and look at the trump cards here. Now, okay. it'll be interesting when they take off from the safety car, because we talked about this at the beginning of the show. The Bob Wiley's 80 to 120 kilometer an hour time is faster. His is 1.5 seconds. Merat is 1.8 seconds. And it looks like they're going to lose the safety, safety car here probably right around 70, 80 kilometers an hour. So, I guess the question is, is can Merat do something diving into this chicane here when the safety car pulls off? Dive bomb. We could see it running in and safety car is in. And people is pedal to the metal. The bomb wire is the still leading. Better. To see the first. Yeah, nothing happened yet. And absurd is in second place now. Now, how about the multi that the eyes on his direct competitor, Merat? I have to say, Merat was very unlucky to having this safety car out. Yes, Merat the safety car. Is... Like... 
Now, yeah, Merrick does not like being in this packed field of competition. He makes his time when he's running away on different strategies. I don't think his car is just not that strong when everybody's lined up and next to him. Thing is, he had a big gap against Alor Automotive, Leo Air Jordan. Now all that gap is gone. Yes. So that's the problem for him. Of course, we still have 30 laps to go here, and the question is, I doubt oh, that any of the oh. front runners. Ah. Oh. Kill me now. Damn. Let's... Will the safety car come back or not? Nope. It's 2% no. under the threshold. Damn it. That was a huge crash though, 287.4%. Is the driver cool. okay? I will get back to you on that one. Still immediately pit after the car was right, right there. there. Yeah. He was lucky in that way. He was lucky that it was not only 96%, he was lucky that it was close to the pit. Man, that's rough. We were having a good day. We were in the top 20. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Honestly, Norman, I think I've um, adopted your curse this season. <laughs> it seemed... I, I don't say anything. I will not say anything about it because you never know what's going to happen. Last year it will happen, trust me. I think I'll be fine for that. So, Marat's still in fourth place. He got overtaken by Halbert, but he has to pit somewhat soon. Merat. Merat. And if he pits, yeah. he's actually royally fucked. Yeah, because probably all <laughs> the two cars in front of me are listening to pit at least once. So. Particular situation for Merat. Anyway, yes. The, you already saw that, but. Yeah, that safety car really play against them. Play against them. But uh, we saw a couple of people pitting now, but not too dramatic. There's a fierce three-way battle going on right now, though. Haller Automotive, Bob Wiley, and Absurdist are all within one-tenth of a second. In this very moment, moment Haller Automotive have a huge smile on his face because Merat is in first fifth place and is going to gain some points to widen the gap from the first single place of the final standings. You know who else yeah, is who smiling? Else? Air Jordan there in sixth place. He has a chance to gain some points there if he can manage to get around Merat. He True. has refueled as well. True. And his car is a lot slower. He's losing pretty much one second a lap. And he's good on the pits. Air Jordan on the pits. Alright, oh, that's... Like expected. The stops uh, I, I wonder when Marat planned his pit stop on, uh, on which percentage. Also, well, absurd, your car the Bob Wiley, uh, Power Automotive takes the lead. Also, your car there was running the best lap of the whole race uh, for your car. Wow. Like, it did the best lap now. Yeah, because it's a constant car. We got a couple cars in the pit. Maddie, CW Rules, and Stenson. 12th through 14th, they all pitted together. It's the James May of cars. Not, not fast, but fast consistent. Consistently slow. Consistently Indeed. slow, exactly. And it gets lost sometimes. But hey, he's in 10th. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, oh, no. Oh. No. Oh. That's bad. That's... <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> that's not good. Oh, <laughs> well, the truck oh, exploded. Shit. 
the truck exploded. I have to say, I did run two or three test runs, and it didn't happen. See you next time, guys. Thank you On for that watching. Bombzell. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Oh, I understand what happened. There's no brisk in 10th place. It wasn't possible. <laughs> And the game said, what the fuck is going on? Go up! No, 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 no! Restart again! Fuck. We'll probably <laughs> have... to uh, do that again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably have the buyer stepping in now for a quick intermission. Or a quick talk. I'm back, yeah. Hello. Hello. So, uh, I don't know what happened there. I don't know as well, I have to take a look. I didn't modify that file between the races, so this has been in there probably for two seasons. <laughs> um, the weird, the weird thing is, I did run two test runs, two test races. He ran two seasons. Uh, I can take a look when I modified that file, so... <laughs> I think in something case, broke. Yeah, in case any of you have ever wondered whether or not we actually do this live, here's your answer. Yes, this is your answer. We are running live. So, um, what what will happen now? Uh, I'll take that a happened. look. Probably, n we, I don't think we will run the rest today. So, um, and on because I, 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 I think we will find a solution of this. Uh, not this not now because it's. Uh, I just can say this variable track width is in each. Uh, calculate uh, in basically in half of the lines. It's something about scaling the screen, and I don't know why it didn't work. That's it must work because it's in all the other lines, and yeah. Maybe there was something horribly going wrong with some memory issues. I don't know. I guess that will be some... That's the only explanation I can have. I have that explanation that probably some Austrian guy was very pissed about a safety car and he, like, hacked our... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think Roland so. Roland computer and... You That's made it. a joke about Mexico and then the fucking Russians got us. Yep. Probably That's that. It. That's it. But in terms of the stream, I think it's, um... Time to sum it up. Like, or, uh, uh, we, or we say we start another race now because it it's nothing I can fix. Hmm. Oh, okay. and this is nothing which ever went wrong. So. <laughs> we could do that, but run it at faster speed. Yeah, yeah, massively faster, like twenty times over. Nah, then then my computer would explode. Well, I don't think we do see it very much. Until we reach like the sixty lap, and then we go back from then. From that. But I mean, the whole race would be different. Yeah, of course. The whole I, race I really would be different. I really have loved to see the result of this race because it was so uh, close because of the two safety car. It this was, was yeah. I have to say, one of the most interesting races. Yeah. Yes. And um, it was sadly, I would say destroyed, but destroyed sounds really, really bad. There is no way to recover or reproduce the same situation in any way, right? No. So, um, I just started the race again. It's at 10 times the speed. It works. It tries to run at 10 times. <laughs> FPS at 30. Yeah, but probably it will run at 3 to 4 times. We'll see. So, what, actually, what we can say for the people who watch the stream, yes, this is live. This is the confirmation that we are running. That's live. That's live. That's life is life. Here, here's a, a question, and, and feel free to just completely shoot this down, but would there be any way that we could stage uh, the race with the cars and the positions that they all were when the crash happened? Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. And then run it however many laps were left, um, essentially as if we just came off a safety car? You mean uh, create some state yep. of every... Uh, just, um, it's, I think it's possible to, to program 
something like save the state after each lap, but manually recovering it is not possible. It, would it be would it be possible to, to interject a race in there is what I'm saying. Like if we went back to where the screen the screen dropped, said, Okay, here's the running order and we plug that in as that is the starting order for a, a twenty lap race, however many laps we had left, and then we said go. I don't that think possible? that's the right solution. That's the, 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 the problem in this is like um, the people who went in with minus one lap will also be now on the same lap, which gives them a chance again to like ruin the race for the top runners. It's, it's just uh, right. not every uh, not all data is displayed on the left of the screen, and um, yeah, it's, I don't think we can manage to to get it into a working state. And even if we did, it would be a shit ton of work. Yep. Like, uh, I think we have what we have right now, which is another race. We're running at 20, 20 times that. What you have to accept as a, as an official result, I guess. Um, it's unfortunate. I have to say, it's unfortunate. Yes, but um, it's nothing we can do about now. I mean, stuff happens. Yeah, we have received the money from Marat, so everything is fine. <laughs> this race is sponsored by Mars Engineering. Yeah, exactly, this one was sponsored by Mars Engineering. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one was sponsored by Snowpress and some Mexican guy. The Mexicans will obviously pay for the crush. Yep. My car still just doesn't like this track. <laughs> 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 Got a second chance and it still gets damaged. There's a big fight between the Bob Wiley and Amsterdam. So look at the Bob Wiley driver, was under pressure. On. It's incredible how now the streaming is a little bit smoother. Yeah, it's running at 15. Uh, it technically. No, 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 no. The stream. I look and see the is running. Yeah, Team yeah. yeah. is running like a dream right now. Yeah. It's Why like did you say anything? Yeah, on exactly. freaking purpose. <laughs> Come on, Andre. Anyway, back to the race. We have a three-way fight for the lead with Bob Wiley, Absurdist, and Leo very close to fucking paint. And Bob Wiley's driver is really pissed off right now. Wait. Uh, <laughs> How can, you the how, rain. how can you read so fast as it goes for me? We can say that. Okay, we can speak like this to cope. Oh, for this other one, it's this place, it's not that, 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 it's Okay, I can do it. I cannot do it. Training <laughs> <laughs> is going up and up. Now we are around 13% uh, of rain and the uh, performance of the cars is that. Leon, fast action. Okay, now let's leave for the position. Second, 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 and don't leave. Anyway, summing up the race: Alonso is fourth, Merat fifth, critical side is sixth. Nothing really changed. F Jordan seventh, eighth is Merat, ninth is the fifth, and tenth is CW Rose. And Leo is on the pits. So Merat along with the third, going again on the wheels. This is, I think, the fastest race we ever did in the BRC. But this time, Troller Coaster is still alive. Yeah, yeah Troller Coaster <laughs> didn't die. Okay. Uh, imagine this is an alternate universe now. It's like we just went into a second universe. It's a multiverse system. Time travel. BRC, sponsored by Multiverse. And it really crashed crash. between Cobalt Girl and Nevermore. Both Ouch. cars survive. That might have to bring out a safety car in the future. I know that because of all the debris. This when, when when the crash number is that big. I think I think that requires a safety car. But that's that was ugly. I think that's just intensity of the crash. Also, the oh, good thing never more stopping. Oh yeah, Nevermore is getting into danger now. 
Yeah, if he didn't if he didn't pit when he did, he would have been out, I think. Or no, he had 70% damage, so he would have kept going, but Oh, it's a beep up point. He has a huge wing. Whole string of pit stops coming through. Love to comment on all of them, but <laughs> Well, I, I could try. Pit stop for festive was pit stop for code, okay, pit stops for fine bread, pit stops for critical set, pit stops for ranger, pit stop for... No, I can do it, sorry. Still counts. I mean, I probably could, but it, you probably wouldn't be able to understand it. <laughs> I'm yes. doing auctions. I have yeah. volunteered to do an auction in the past, I'm not going to lie. Tekondoro's pitting. Up at the front, we have Leo oh, with a two second oh, lead. Uh, down. Yeah, still two second lead. <laughs> this race is sponsored by Balthazar Automotives. <laughs> <laughs> this race is sponsored by Speed Talking. Get the information in before it changes right in front of your eyes. Absurdus has the lead down to a second down. He's closing in on Leo. He's running two seconds almost. Fuck. A full Fuck. second. A full second faster. And he overtakes. Obviously, this disc race is running way faster because look at it, it's 15 times the speed. Yeah, but if you count the seconds, it's maybe 5 times. Yeah. The display is just wrong. Oh, it tries to run at 15, but it But if I, if I go down to 5x, it's... Nah, it, there is a difference. It, it's more tries to run at 6 times or 7 times. Yeah, I keep it faster, please. Um, well, to me. Hmm. Some people like being lied to. Absurd is back in the lead now with the slimmest of margins, but Leo takes him going into the first corner. It's going to be a battle royale all the way around this track. They're going to be able to get another sentence up before they're back on the front stretch. They're still back and forth, all still within a tenth of a second, but Leo has the speed down the front stretch into the first corner, but Absurdus battles back down the back stretch. Rain stopped and the sun is going out. I have to say, the top, t like the top five is like the same, or the top six. Yeah, but top time is very different because... Yeah, the gaps see, are very different. Yeah, the gaps is completely different. Because of the two missing... At least the safety first cars. missing safety car, yeah. We have Viran in 9, Frankenstein in 10. Critical set. He wasn't even in the, the running. Um, he was way in the back of the order. Didn't he have an episode last race? I don't remember. I remember that this around this... There was like a fighting between either Bayer and Rizzo and someone else. Well, something happened to Leo. He bit. He bit or not? No, that's no, he damage. he's damaged. A huge amount of damage. Let me look in wow. the in the backlog file. And crashed again. No, it broke no. everything. No, no, that was me. Uh, Leo seemed to have a crush. Yes. By itself. <laughs> Or like just an error? I can't fig find it, but it seems to be a cr f crush because it, it scrolls all the time. It had it had to be an error because nobody else around him got any damage unless it was a lapped car. M maybe on the um, microwave road, um, Leo spun out and had a damage. Oh, but he's not betting him. He has to damage. Anyway. Well, he's scheduled to make a pit stop here now, so here it goes. Leo, are your pit stops only planned, or...? Oh, pit stops. They must have been. He, he did a couple of laps. Move a super damaged car. 70-some percent, yeah, they they're, must not have damage. That's if a shame. That was a great battle in first place. If it wouldn't be for our viewers, we wouldn't Marat know. Pitting. Oh, did he did? Marat is yes. all, he yeah. was already pitted. At around lap 65, I was it slow it down again to the regular 2x or even. It's got set place, but all the four. Take an arrow, small four slide. must pit soon. Probably the best lap. I bet oh. for a lot of people right this. Right before he pits. The second race will change a lot for some people, I think. I think I pit two years. The Haller Automotive back to the lead with a huge gap over Critical Set in second. Denta is out. Never mind. Marat's in second. Denta crashed, but just under the safety car threshold. 
huge spin. Thankfully, in this alternate universe, your driver isn't dying. Right, so I come back and my car has crashed. Nice. Also, your car stayed out for a long period of time after the crash. And he nice. already has <laughs> crashed yeah, again. He still has, has got damage because it, they didn't fix all of it. Who did it crash into? A spin. Frame. 22%. Tire barrier, probably. Yeah. Oh, no fuck. one. Do you have a Driver. solution that, that, that uh, this allows repairs or...? Yeah, it's pretty much between not and 2% uh, oh, yeah. for unplanned stops, so in case it crashes in the first uh, first lap. But otherwise, yeah, it's no planned stops because of because it will just go into the pits every time it rains. Yeah, not optimal, but it happens. It but you were work. very lucky to have that pit stop right when you did. Also, your car is just behind critical set, probably oh. preparing to overtake. Picondro! Big uh, hit into the barrier there. Very big, yeah. I do love how it says touched. <laughs> touched. <laughs> touched. <laughs> touched barrier! First yeah. percent damage. <laughs> M maybe it was a concrete barrier, so it can hurt a lot if you touch them. Apparently, the Armco is vicious around here. Probably some kind of cone he hit. Yeah. When a, con a concrete cone. <laughs> yeah. It was one um, of those water-filled barrels. Absolutist and Merit fighting for the first place. Dandy dog. All the automotive is back. What? 13 seconds behind. What Bob is the closed, close, but not final oh. yet. We're closing what? in on the 60th lap here. We are. We are. 55th is where it stopped last time, so... Ah. so it will stop again. No, it won't. The other universe was more fun. A little more. Yes. Uh, My car yeah. didn't crash then. This universe oh, is boring. It yeah. looks like we have a four-way battle for fifth place brewing, though. Between Critical Set, Leo, Maddie, and Matt MR2. They're all right there. True. Leo trying to claw his way back into the lead. I guess now he is. Oh. Meanwhile, Marat and Absurdist are still duking it out. You have the same thing. Marat can hang around in the slipstream, but I think Ty or the Ty Madero, Absurdist is just a little bit faster. Both of them are down 15 kilograms of fuel. Late I have pit to say, stop could make the look, difference. Looking at the people who are one lap down, the, um, the race before the safety car, this they, they were well, they one lap down. Yeah. Now there was about 24 cars on the lead lap. Yeah. Now look, Madame Mark make some mandatory nine. safety car this time. Just uh, raise the threshold, forced, or lower the threshold. Four safety cars, like it's a button now. Well, it pretty much became that in NASCAR. Alright, so Leo is in the pits. The Bob Wiley is in the pits. I'm sure this is going to be in the pit very soon, along with Nara. I'm just waiting Probably for the, the 65th, lap. and we are slowing down now because we are reaching the state of the last race. Lap 66. Okay, well, let's see what goes on. Now, now we can Absurdist see again what comes happens. in from the lead. Barat's going to take one more lap. Yes, Marat can only take one more lap and he has to refuel. Absurdus is pitting now, he's probably falling into fourth place. So I think Marat is going to do to, to one or two laps more. Come on, 9.6 kilograms of fuel, he could do a couple of laps at least. Unless he's planned. That's true. Calculated it very closely. The question is, though, will it staying out this extra bit of time with the tire wear cost him in the end? Thing is, if you put it in your head, yeah, the the the, the pit stop will take 30 seconds around. That means pitting it will put now. him into six. Pitting, pitting. In, uh, he now. is he is pitting, yes. So Howler Automotive is going to pass him, but Howler Automotive, I don't think, can make it to the end on 17.4 kilos. We would be in soon. 
Their ad is going to come She's out. She's moving. Will he come out before oh, or be after close. the boy Bliley? Yeah, it's be after the boy. It's it's <laughs> before Four. Bob Wiley. Very tight. We'll have to see who's running what kind of lap times. Bob Wiley just cleared the last lap car, so Merad is now the first car in front of him. Also, the Bob Wiley had a pit stop just last lap, so he both run on the best they have now. Bob Wiley set the fastest lap of the race right there, 103.87. Also, the Bob Wiley has 60 kilos of fuel. 60. He, he filled up. But how loud a motive is running away? Wait, wait, wait. The Bob Wiley took a full tank of fuel. Is it possible he doesn't make it? He conceived waste all the fuel with the turbo. Do we his, know his consent? Is it his third pit stop already or his second? I, think I don't know with third. the speed. <laughs> if it's his, th uh, his third, then he will not make it. If it's his second, then he will make it. Oh, wow. What? I... I... What? I did... I, I can't understand this logic. Because, uh... <laughs> we are more than two-thirds into the race, and if it's... If, if it was his second pit stop, then he did more than two-thirds on... Oh, I see, I see. Fuel, fuel tanks, yeah. Yeah, I see. Um, no, but I reckon it's his first stop, as it was the first stop for Absurdus and for my car. And yeah, the Bob for Wiley, The Bob Wiley pit tells me that was his last planned stop. How lot of motive is pitting with his turbo? Barat's Which... going to take the lead here. Marat is leading now, and Top of Wiley is back into second place. And Absurdus is faster. Just a matter Marat of really faster. time now. It's just a matter of lap time. Now he has just to stay on the throttle, stay full power. 18 laps. And let's check. The Bob Wiley closed in a little bit on that lap. He had two tenths of a second on Merritt. Absurdus is running faster than the both of them, though. The question is, is he running fast enough? Well, he's almost almost one second faster than Merritt, and a half second faster than the Bob Wiley. But he's uh, he's raining. My again. math isn't working. Marat has a 5 second gap, that means like Marat will be overtaken in around 5 to 6 laps. Around. No, over uh, not overtaken. They will be close. Overtaken is what. Getting together is one thing, overtaking is another. The, the gap true, still true. between Marat and the Bob Wiley each lap is only about 2 tenths of a second. We're, I mean, I think Marat just gained on the Bob Wiley there. We're going to see. It's going to be 10 laps before they're, they're close to each other. It will probably be a last lap fight. We don't know. I guess this is getting a little exciting. It's incredible how durable is Marat's engine. Isn't it? Yes, he's Even running... with 19.1. Yeah. Oh, oh, the rain is picking up. Ooh, hello. Wow. Uh oh, could oh. we see oh. an immediate? Oh, wow, yeah. that could be an interesting... That now, two... can change... A lot. Things. Now, now, before people start losing their mind about that this is the second race, we the didn't make it this far in the first race. A lot of people are spitting now. A lot of people are spitting. Don't go over 36. This please. is our first Bob safety car. 39. Oh, a lot of people are going to quit now. Everybody's oh, going to come shit. out on intermediate. Oh, the shit. late rain has caught everybody by surprise. But Fuck probably not rain. Merat, Merat is running strong. Fuck Merat is... <laughs> I don't care, there's only 13 laps left. Yeah, There's... I can't remember, is Merat on sports? No. 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 He pits. He pits. True. Obviously, pits. You, have, you have to pit. It's almost 50%. You will spin, you? you will die. I you wonder spin. what happened if the... Room, baby, right, sorry. Sorry, sorry, go on. Norman, this is our first safety car. You wanted the first safety car? This is your first safety car. No, nah, this is not my safety nah, car. It's because not the it's same. No, probably not. It's even worse. 
Well, on the list of people who won't stop again, I presume. Howler Automotive, my car, Air oh, Air Jordan stopped already. Does Howler Automotive stay on slicks the whole time? Absurd. Oh, I presume so. I wonder that's what their threshold is. That's risky. Let's compare lap, lap times. The cars on uh, intermediates, they're running 3 seconds a lap faster. So if, the, <laughs> he, if Bob Wiley, for example, can drop the pace, he will overtake all of them. The question is now how far, like, we will know that, like, look at Norman Vauxhall, he's running 1 minute 9 seconds, while Apsler is running 1 minute 10. Obviously, Norman Vauxhall is not getting on first place in, like, the next 5 laps, but the difference is big. My question is what happened if on the other universe, if the rain was like this, exactly like this? Mm. In the other the universe, the, the, the period of time where rain is happening would be much longer because we needed more time to finish 70 laps. True. True. Yeah. True. And rain would have come a lot earlier. Lab the average speed would be lower. good for me, but I'll try. I, I'll try and take a look if I can make um, this alternate alternative reality uh, <laughs> video for the oh, last yeah. 20 laps. Don't waste your time on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah just exactly. See if it's possible. But because I'm just interested how this ra race would have ended. I because think many, a, many of those are. It was a very interesting race, to say the least. Pity to be. Anyway. Not because well, the rain is anyway, coming down. Look, Mara and the Bob Wiley have found each other again. They're two tenths of a second apart, and the Bob Wiley is running faster than Mara. Yeah, this time. Definitely. Both are running considerably faster than our two leaders. Almost three full seconds. There's 10 laps left, and the gap is less than... What? Oh, it's, it's 5 seconds to but the power the automotive. Truck, but the truck could dry up, and... It's drying up, and it is. It's, it, it not only could, it, it is drying up. Yeah, but there's still a little bit of rain, so we're probably not, we are not going to see less than 37% until... Okay, 36, okay. Then I will show <laughs> <laughs> not, Do not, people go in for slicks now? I really hope that so. That would be bad. I really hope so, because I have a very, very conservative threshold. It's now I fight really for third place between and Mara and... stopped. Who stopped? That could be very interesting now. No one stopped. Rain stopped. Oh, yep. the rain stopped, okay. The Bob Wiley and Marat are duking it out. Just a matter of time until they can catch up on Hallerot Automotive. I hope this, uh, if the rain, no, this, this was. Yeah, this rain, uh, Haller Automotive and Absurd is already picking up the pace. They were already running 108, so they're just one second of the lap slower rather than as they were before. There's still enough laps though. The Bob Wiley could challenge definitely Haller Automotive and perhaps Absurdist, depending on what happens here. But Bob Wilde, he just ran a 106. But now they are two seconds faster. Before it was, they were on 1 minute and 10. Now they're 1 minute 8. And this is not going to give any more advances to the Bob Wiley because we are under 30% of rain. So I think... But at least he has got the fresh tires. Yes. That's true. That's yeah. true. That could give a... Two missed trips, race for 11 and they both pit, probably oh for no, weather reason. No. Now we're going to see another massive pit stops. <laughs> Please don't. I mean, we're under 10% of the race, right? Who is going to pit? Who is going not to pit? I think if your threshold was set to 90%, you're safe. The question is, is who is it, 80, 85? Mm hmm. We can at threshold, I think a lot of people will not pit anymore. Yeah, we're, we're definitely too close to the closing laps of the race. The Bob Wiley has the gap down to seven and a half seconds while Haller Automotive is staying constant right around five. We're, we could definitely have an interesting battle for second. 
I don't think there's enough time left for the Bob first, Riley to catch absurdist. Yeah. Also, look at the lap times. They're starting to even out. Yeah. The buyer touched oh. area, 41% damage. Super excited touched. buyer. He was running in 13th here. Now the buyer is very more interested to see how the race could end in the other universe. <laughs> 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 They only have nine cars on the lead lap, and that was drastically different from you know, last race. The safety car kept the field bunched up. The better outcome for people like me, though. Indeed. Third, I gained about 30 positions out of this uh, mix-up. But you will not hear me complain. So, uh, rain has started again. It's... <laughs> It's dripping again, so the, the ra race is not stopping to be uninteresting. Farm weather can shift. Move from farm. Alright, so defender, not defender. The frustrated crew chief. Haller Automotive and Absurdist have both started running faster laps than the Bob Wiley. Yeah. So barring the sky's opening. I'm pretty sure this is how things will end. What? It stopped me? <laughs> oh. You threshold! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn it. Well, it didn't last very much, but worth. What a bad. That's a mess. I prefer the other points, though. Let me go back to the other universe now. Still running no in my universe. The rain is slowly yeah. picking up. We're now at back at yeah. 20, 27. Oh, no, oh. I hope I will not go back. Oh, not to again. again. <laughs> now, just remember, the other universe never got this far. So we st really don't know what would have happened. We have a considerable amount of rain here as we're coming up to three laps to go. Could this help Marat and the Bob Wiley go into the uh, top three? Relapse. I don't think that the Bob Wiley would be able to recover over Holler Automotive second place. Spin. Anyway, Holler, Holler Automotive seems to. Holler, Holler Automotive is actually catching absurdist here. People Bye. are pitting in the last two laps, please. Come on, people, don't be stupid. Norman Vauxhall, your car is pitting. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> no, really. God. Please wow, change. Wow, we're up to 55% rain. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a lot of rain. Oh, the Bob Wiley's also wow. already passed Howl Adam. They are losing. He could, a, oh. he could go for absurdist. There's go, only go, three guys, laps, go. but he could go. What? Two laps to go now. Look at this. My car's on the fifth. What? Absurdist is running a 113, almost a 114, but, but the Bob Wiley is running a 1087. Yeah. He's only a second behind. They're this last, now. this last rain, rain He's taking him. Oh, on Bob Wiley first, Bob Wiley on first. On the second to last lap, with the skies opening, the Bob Wiley comes out of nowhere. Marat is fighting. Oh, oh you pit for fuel. Marat. Yes, yes, yes. Marat is oh fighting God. now for a second place. Marat up in the third. And in the no, seconds. Second. Second. I can't believe it. The cars that went in for intermediates have shocked everybody. They're pulling away on the last lap. Inconceivable what has just happened here. This last rain shower everywhere. changed everything. Now, they're not out of the woods yet. There's a chance a lapped car ruins Absurd their Absurdus is pitting. No. Abs oh, wow. Oh, oh fuck, really? <laughs> all the lads. That's, that's all oh, in the really? <laughs> oh. I bet that's fuel. But yeah, coming fuel to the shows. line, the tire strategy is going to work out for the 90 car as he comes down to take the checkered flag. The Bob and Wiley. Bob Wiley on first place. Merritt on second place. How long are on third? Absurdus will stay on uh, fourth. It didn't change for him the pit stop. I have to say, Norman Vauxhall, you sadly, th th thanks to the stupid um, pit stop, you just 
dropped me from. No, no, no. <laughs> you dropped from 30 to 23rd. Yeah. Because I had the same strategy I used on Hockenheim, so I didn't. didn't set for the end. Because it wasn't necessary. Anyway. The last cars crossed the line. This last ra rain. Wow. wow. Think how could be. Oh, Awesome with the oldest universe, the older universities. Anyway, yeah, the I last universe. Immediately, I'm sorry. So, no, no, thank you, no, everybody. No problem. Bye. 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 So, Bye. the last universe would be the more interesting race, but in the end, the last five, ten laps were quite interesting as well, thanks to the rain, I would say. Not the most compelling race, but interesting. It's an interesting storyline. I'm, I'm sure the forms will be a buzz. Would be yes, a lot of people will probably sc scream for having uh, the first universe, but Martin, you're going to get plenty of tags. Yeah. <laughs> folks, folks, lay, lay off of them. I mean, it, we couldn't control it. And like, yeah, it sucks for a lot of people, but we'll look at it. And I know Martin will put an explanation out if he figures out what uh. happened. And I like, you see? This, this I, said if, I said if. I said if. <laughs> this variable which I count is a variable which is set, which is basically the width of the track map on the screen. This is set once at the beginning when the, the program is loading and never touched again. I the don't know what happened. The and thing I is, will never be able to explain it. it. It worked now, like a charm. So, what? Not to mention, it ran better for us as commentators. Uh, beforehand, we were having choppy screens, we, we couldn't see what was going on, and then this second time around, it, it ran beautifully. So, let's take a look at the number of leading laps. I, I show the times like people can figure out themselves what happened here. But leading laps, you can see Absurdus was in the, f in the leading lap for a long time. At and last, then, at pit stop in the rain. And then the rain came. I think the rain, like, fucked up Absurdus a lot. Wow. His fuel was just not enough. Um, and that's why he went into the pits, and then if he's into the pits, then they will uh, take a look, are the tires the correct ones for the current weather, and then they even change the tires. Um, I think the additional tire, in the 12 seconds he lost tire change, didn't change anything for him, but the fact that he went into the pits at all cost him uh, second place, probably. Or maybe third. I don't what know I if Merritt would have caught him. What, what I will say about this, though, is that I like the fact that you had five different cars all had different stints out in the front. I mean, it was a competitive race. It wasn't just one car running away with it that couldn't be touched. Fuel consumption, uh, we all... Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what was the number? 487? Was that? Was that? Oh my God. <laughs> he consumed as much fuel as Absurdus and Matt Ever 2 together. Oh. He could run two cars. Imagine how many diesel cars he could run. He could probably run the. the A lot. Cars the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's interesting to see the fuel consumption. It's like, Denta, like, no, he he crushed out, I think. But um, let's take Norman Vox. So 114. Warlord. 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 70. Came 70 kilos versus almost Seven 500. <laughs> this graph is uh, a mess. It's a mess. You can see where the rain started making things move around, though. But it's it's nice for the like the last sector here, the last quarter. Like, look at Leo. Leo dropped. Uh, Absurdus dropped. Uh, the Bob Wiley. Bob Wiley miracle. You can see how Absurdus went up, 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 and then the rain picked up and he went. Yeah, he just plummeted up. down. Also, also Stenson, if you look at the, the white line, I don't know if you can see it on the right there, where Stenson kind of picked up from 
way down there, and he made a lot of moves to get up to where he finally finished. Yeah, that, I think the tight chances from some guys will benefit to him, like NV. This gap is uh, this oh, this this, this um, graph is weird. Always. But you can see where the pit stops were, though. You can like the the huge dips everywhere. Damage, uh, we know. My car really car hated really this hated. track a lot. Who spent a lot of time in pits? Yeah, that's that's to be expected. Genjet, though, Genjet. I'm actually surprised he's not that far off of the controller person. Neither is Cobalt, though. They both had a lot of time in the pits. Uh, I think those probably were because of tires, not because of yeah. fuel. Probably. Then tire wear. Talking about tires. Oh my god. I know everybody wants to see their name next to the number one. <laughs> These are the wrong graphs to do it on. Actually, Actually, yes. You don't want your number on your name on number one in this graph. Then we have revs, which Reps, is, which is um, interesting. Number of errors. Well, and the Vmax, which is like. To be expected on number one, and number two, I think is um, interesting to see. I did not think Marat had the second fastest car in a straight uh, line. That's what I meant. Like, want to say, like, I didn't think his car was the fastest on the track, but in, um, in the means of top speed. I mean, he was drafting a lot. I know he was yeah, in probably. the slipstream of a lot of cars, but I mean, I really thought that Leo and the Bob Wiley could both beat him down the front stretch every time. Yeah. yeah. And then, best lap, done by Absurdist. They broke the 103 barrier. Three cars broke the 103 barrier. That's, those are some quick laps around this track. And, and I think qualifying was what, 106? Yeah. This was uh, in wet conditions. Yeah, the, the qualifying was slightly wet. And uh, this was probably the, the most driest lap they had and okay. could do. Have you saved already? I have saved it twice. Okay. Sorry, I, I didn't watched it. it. And let's take a look at the standings down. We have, we see, it's wow. neck wow. and neck between Marat and Howler Automotive. Howler Automotive Howler not Automotive. being in the top three in qualifying there actually cost him the lead in points. He didn't uh, get any bonus points the last two races. They, they also run was really fun. fast. Yeah, they also put a also big put a gap big. there to uh, Aaron Jordan. Well, I guess not big, but they definitely gave themselves a little more breathing room after his win at Hockenheim. Basically down from um, place number three to around place number f six, like, they can still fight for it. Yeah, you, uh, you need one DNF and things are completely different. Yeah, tell me about tell it. Me about it. Hey, but you made points this, tr this race. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this time, this but time. I have two DNS from earlier, so it's a crapshoot. Yeah, I got lucky. I'm one of the people that actually did not mind seeing the blue screen there. I know there's plenty of folks that disagree with me, so. The blue screen was unfortunate, but in the end, uh, happened. But hey, we still brought you your race today, folks. We didn't... We didn't throw in the towel. Yes, we still brought the race and we still finished the race. A complete race here. All within two hours. And we started late, so that's pretty good, I think. I think it all in the end we have a result and it's quite good. The season shall continue. And speaking of continuing, do we want to talk about, about our next race? Yes, then, well, we can oh, have we can. a short um, talk, like, it's Spa Franco Champs, a track everyone should be familiar with. Some Pretty much familiar. the best the best track of, of the season, I, I, in my opinion. I would say it's the best track, yes. It's something completely mm. different, at least. I don't know, have, why do I have a picture of it? Is there... Um... But it's pretty simple. There's a straight, a front straight, a very tight corner, a downhill straight, a very funny uphill corner, a very long straight, and then you come back. That's pretty much it. 
Now, how different is this layout um, from, say, the current spa? A lot. This is a spa. Totally different. Uh, pretty much like the everything uh, you go f you go for the first corner, which I forgot the name, Blanchimon, I guess. Then you go downhill and then through Eau Rouge, and then you have the the straight. And then, meanwhile, the current Formula Formula One track, you go right at the end of the straight. On this one, you can see you go left to another straight and a big loop. Meanwhile, the current track has a tighter section, infield section. Is this the fast 14.12 um, uh, kilometers track layout? Yes. So yeah, th that's 14.1, that's like half to Nordschleife. Yeah, this will be very interesting. So we're going to see a lot of high speed like we saw at Hakuna. Yes, very much so. I think the highest speed will be from... Um, I think it's Malmedy to um, Hollowell. Like, look at this, like a straight line with some, one small chicane in it. So, if Troller Coaster could carry around a fuel tanker truck with him, he would be dangerous. He should, yeah. He should, maybe, like, lug around. Maybe I should add another pit lane halfway around. <laughs> 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 Like one meter long, so just people can go in, fuel, 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 and go. Would it actually be possible to do that, or? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it would be po possible to parameterize it, but I don't know if the cars would react properly. It would be a pain, probably. Eh, uh, don't bother. Yeah. It's pretty much a fault of everyone who made their car too thirsty. Yeah. They knew the track, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're exactly. They're their problem. And it's less a problem here than on Nordschleife, I guess. Yeah, on Nordschleife well, it's it's really an even lap, bigger right? problem. Yeah. At least for the course I can finish one lap here. Nordschleife, I'm not so sure. I think I we have like he could do 20 kilometers on 77 kilograms of fuel. Yeah, maybe he'll stop every single lap. Well, that's almost a given in some of these tracks as it is. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all for tonight. Yeah. This was um, basically a double universe race this time. I hope next time it works perfectly. We must have one race which goes wrong each season, so yeah. this was it for this season. <laughs> oh, we, is it we, we, we just had a suggestion by Merat. Um, can we have refuel by plane? Um, At like 300, it should be possible to refuel by plane. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Does that mean you can crash the Cessna? <laughs> that'd be that'd be an interesting one on the line. Plane crash, backstretch. Safety car because of plane crash. What? Uh, well, as well, would be I said, on that bombshell. On that bombshell, it's time to end. Thank you guys for watching and uh, hope to see you in Spa. Bye long. Bye. Bye.